Hello, this is John Hillbrands with TheInfoSheets.com. What I'm going to talk to you today about is getting your Microsoft Excel data imported into Microsoft Access. Um, your Microsoft Excel data can have come from a number of sources, but generally it, it's exported from a bigger database that has an Excel output. It may also have a tab delimited data or comma separated value data, um, but both of those can be opened by Microsoft Excel as well. Once you get it into Microsoft Excel, there's a lot of things you can do, such as combining field names and other types of things, uh, to get them all basically grouped into the right order in everything else. This is a actual output from uh, Outlook contact list of Microsoft. Uh, uh, Microsoft and uh, it, it generates its own Excel file and you can see there's a lots of fields and what we're going to do is basically figure out what fields we need by doing an export of your Microsoft Access program. In our InfoSheets database we have a front page version or a front end version we also have it opening up a back end which is a standard Access file so this works equally well for our InfoSheets customers as well as uh, someone that has their, micro, their own Microsoft Access program. So let's start by opening up the back end which is a standard Microsoft Access program and that's found in our documents uh, info sheets when it's installed this is where it goes uh, unless you get the standalone back end and this is a standalone back end which is purchasable for twenty five dollars by the way. So uh, let's export like we said we were going to do and to do that, uh, we're going to work with the customer table. So we're going to open up that customer table. And we're going to export that to Excel. And uh, let's go ahead and browse where we want to put that. And we'll put it on our desktop so it's easy to find. And, uh, oops. I meant to say export. Hopefully I said that. So export it to Excel. And we'll browse to our desktop so it's easy to find save and okay close all right so let's close this up and now uh, this is our newly created Microsoft Excel file I'm also going to do our front-end version for our uh, our customers so bear in mind if you're not one of them uh, we'll get back to it in just a second so we actually have a front-end version that opens up that same back end but it has a, a start screen which has some some more features to it including an export <clears throat> so again we're going to choose our customer table and we'll export to Excel and we'll go ahead and finish that off now that actually saves it into um, that same folder so let's go ahead and go into that InfoSheets folder and copy it out now that's the new file let's paste that up here too all right, so we have our three files. These two are pretty much identical. The only difference is in the image uh, um, column. In the, in the one, uh, it has uh, something unrecognizable, and in this one, it has something recognizable, but it won't be recognizable once you try and import it. In either case, we're not going to be able to import an image. So we'll just delete those out. Um, but let's go ahead and get our data um, fixed. Basically we want these column headings to be the uh, same as <clears throat> what they are here. Alright, so to do that, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and open <laughs> it's all the way over here, open uh, Outlooks, and we'll um, move that to the other book, this one here. All right, so now we have two sheets in the same book. One is our data that we want to import, and this is the data that we exported. So it shows our format that we want to strive for. So uh, let's look at our data and we see that we start with the customer ID number. ID numbers um, are best generated by the program. 
but so that I have the right spacing I'm gonna do that then we saw that the last name came first so we have last name then first name and then we have a company I name and then we had home phone cell phone and now let's find this there's a phone I don't know which one it is but it doesn't matter and we'll insert that here I know that there isn't a cell phone so let's just insert a blank and email address where's email? email, email, there it is and address address city state zip and finally note where's note ah oh, there's note and all this other is extraneous information. The longer a program has been around uh, such as Outlook, the more it's used by just about every purpose under the sun. And that's one of the reasons why people end up with a custom program is they really don't want all this extraneous information. So hopefully you purchased a program that has the information that you want and you can uh, get it in the right uh, uh, form. Alright, so now let's uh, uh, copy this and if there was more rows we would simply copy all of them at the same time but we only have one and then we'll paste it into our existing data and let's see it lined up perfectly now the next question we have the next question we have is um, is that we want to, um, we, there's no use having the same data go back in to your uh, database. For that reason, uh, it's best just to delete out your, uh, the data that was already in your database when you export it. We only want to put the, the, the new stuff in. Um, even though if it has the exact same customer ID number, it won't input anyway. But let's delete it <clears throat> just to keep good notes. And the next question is, if we have a blank, we can import it, or we can delete that row and let that row be, or that column uh, be created by um, Microsoft Access. And it's usually better to have it deleted, so um, just in case there's something in there that's not supposed to be there. If you put a space in your ID number, uh, it could throw things off. Um, you could also have just put in a number in the customer ID number, but it can't be a number that you already are using. Um, and there's a lot of criteria there, so I, I just delete them out and let the access actually figure it out. Uh, also, we're going to get rid of these fields that uh, have no data in them. All right, so now we have really good data. And you can also use your formulas to combine and separate things um, uh, using Microsoft Excel tricks and get everything in there. Do realize, though, you don't want the formula. You want the, um, uh, the value. And uh, you, you want this part not to say a formula, but to actually have what's in the cell. And that's, that causes you to need to know a little bit about Microsoft Excel for that reason. Let's go ahead and delete this first page now. Okay. 
All right, so now we have our data, and it's beautiful, and it's wonderful, and it has the right field names because they came directly from our export. So we know they're going to go in. We didn't try and type them. We didn't try and uh, edit a field to make it look. This came from our export, so we know it's going to be right. All right, so now we can close this, and now we're ready to import. All right. So uh, that was in, was this one? Yes, no, it's in this one. Okay, the one with the uh, date. All right, so now we're ready to import it. So let's import it through Microsoft Access for those of you who are not purchasing our program. And uh, I'm sorry, it's in our back end, which is over here. And let's go ahead and open it up. And now let's import. Now for importing, uh, we actually don't open the customer table. We leave it closed, but we have a drop-down box similar to ours to, um, to make it go in. And let's browse for that file. It was on our desktop where our new data is. And now it gives you some views of what it is. And finish, close. And now it should be in there. Let's take a look at it. And there it is. It's all in there. Beautiful. And let's look at it, what it looks like in our form. It's on the last sheet. We can see, and where was it? Huh. Oh, we didn't close this yet. Now let's look at our form. There it is. Um, notice I had to close the database. When you're working with uh, enter, entering stuff directly into the table, uh, make sure you close the table so that the, um, the form can draw from it. All right, so uh, there's that new information, and it's beautiful, and everything's formatted the way it's supposed to be. Let's close that and open our our uh, start screen and actually let's delete that last one out again and let's go back to our start menu and now let's import it uh, again we're going to choose the right table and import to Excel and in this case I have some warnings and the warnings are make sure that you've backed up that back end that is Backup simply means making a copy of it. Right click, hit copy, uh, and then go to somewhere else and hit paste. And that's all there is to it. Because that back end is your data. Um, let's see. Um, yes, we'll continue. Are you sure? Yes. Um, I told my wife, um, it's pretty powerful. People can screw things up. And I have some really stupid questions sometimes. Do you think I should let people back do that? And she says, well, just give them warning screens and hope for the best. Uh, there we go. Alright, so now we've done it. Go back to our main screen and we have the same issue in that we have to close it and reopen it because we uh, we went straight to the um, straight to the database. So there is our new data. It's all beautiful. Um, this ABC Co and the customer and uh, that's basically it how to import it I've imported it through a custom screen and also through Microsoft Access itself um, if you were interested in purchasing our program the fully editable back end is available for twenty five dollars or you can get the one with the front end and that back end for fifty dollars and it has a lot of other functions and you can you view our videos online for that um, and for anyone that's trying to import things Microsoft Excel import is the best way to import your data just make sure you get your data cleaned up prior to trying to import it and don't try and create your own field names um, use it from an export and those are probably the two best hints I can give you to importing your data this has been John Hillbrands with the infosheets.com thank you very much